Good morning, everyone. Here we go on our first adventure with the Leisure Light Camper. I got some friends of mine with me. Uh, Mike Roth back there and Greg Hardy. Y'all gonna say anything on? One? Yeah. North Carolina Canuck. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that's the North Carolina Canuck. So we're headed out this weekend going to Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground uh, in between Canton and Bavard, North Carolina. Uh, this is the first time that we've actually got to use it since we bought it, uh, probably about in the middle of uh, this year because all this COVID stuff going on. Uh, I got my wife on the back. Of course, she's not going to say a word while we're on the camera. I wish she would. And uh, Just pinch your, pinch your leg. That'll get her to say something. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Let me pinch your leg. Yeah. She still ain't saying nothing. I usually have to fool her and say I got the camera off. So we're looking uh, looking forward to this trip. It's supposed to be really cold, uh, but we're, we're going to power through it. I think it's supposed to be about 37, 38. Ain't that right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow is supposed to be in the, I think, uh, low 50s, high, um, low 60s, high, high 50s, low 60s. So we'll get some more uh, footage and uh, video and show you all about our adventure this weekend. We've made a couple stops since then, but this is uh, Schroeder's Honda. This is the uh, number one selling or in inventory, I guess is the way he said it, um, dealership in the country that sells gold wings. So next stop, Blue Ridge Campground. All right, so here we are. We've arrived and we're on the Pisca Highway. Headed back up to the campground. We're, uh, I don't know, what, about 20 minutes from it, I reckon. So this is where Sliding Rock. Uh, we're going to pass the waterfalls coming up. That waterfall that we went to, Christy, she still don't want to talk. Had a good ride. Had to stop for snacks like 12 times because of Mike Roth. <laughs> You'll be thanking me later. Yeah, this is the only time it's taken me uh, about 14 hours to drive across North Carolina. <laughs> and how big is six inches again? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Exaggeration. <laughs> oh, my word. All right. It's beautiful, though. The driving it is. is. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the way we come. We stayed in Boone two or three years ago. It's been longer than that, hasn't it, Christy? All right, Christy. I'm videoing. Where are we at? I what honestly don't is? even know. <laughs> I don't know. It's the Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground. Yeah. And it's October 2nd, 2020. Midstream Sounds COVID. Sounds about right. So let's take, take you for a tour of our humble abode. You got 10 seconds. So this is the bedroom. This is the living room. <laughs> this is the kitchen with all the snacks. And the motorcycle is outside the door. And we got a door here. And we got our little heater. It has made all the difference in the world. And our iPad working as our TV. It's a neat experience. What do you think, Christy? Stupidest idea, like you told me? I never said it was the stupidest idea. Yes, you did. No, I said this, this is, thing is hilarious. It's you stupid. said this is the stupidest idea I've ever come up with to buy a motorcycle camper. We pulled it, what, six hours, six and a half hours today? Probably. Yep. I love you. All righty. Here we go. So we're leaving uh, Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground. For the first time, it is showing 50 degrees on the bike, but I believe it's colder than that. Tenere is showing 46. 12 degrees. <laughs> Celsius. Celsius. <laughs> we got him a short little. I like me. Wobbly. Wobbly coming out of there, weren't they? It's clear, yeah. Tucker. Huh? Was yeah, left. Clear, clear, clear. Clear, clear, clear. Yep. 
That's what I was asking. Was it clear? Oh, uh, I thought you said left. No, it says clear. Those big Harley guys don't do those little bumps very well, do they? <laughs> Both of them was, you know, she's taller than I am. She, she's probably five foot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, how's that heated gear working? Oh, now she don't want to talk. Are you videoing now? Yeah. So this place that we're staying at, for all the YouTube folks out there and uh, on the interweb, <laughs> man, you talking about a breakfast. They had pancakes as big as the rims on my camper. So. Yeah, the food was good. Yeah, it was real good it was, food. It was too much food. It was. It was. Good prices, though. <laughs> What's, is she okay? Oh, she's putting her gloves on. Is that the... Uh... That's the guy with Dan, the beard. Dan and Chris. Dan and Chris, yeah. Yeah. Now this is what I like. Let's hit the twisties with no trailer. Yep. Here we go, okay. Bridal Falls. Oh, that's so pretty. Here we are, Bridal Vale Falls. Look at that one little flower, or one little leaf sticking out there, wrong. Oh yeah. That's something. Is it just throwing waterproof? Oh. <laughs> Boy, I'm a Parkway, but Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground, five stars. Uh, we really enjoyed it. Seems to be an older campground, which I knew that. So some of the facilities and stuff kind of showed their age, but nothing that concerned me the, the least little bit. Everything there was, was just wonderful. The owner was wonderful. Um, everybody that camped there was just so friendly. We, we met a bunch of friends that, uh, uh, or better met a bunch of folks that will be friends for a long time to come which is this that's what it's all about with these motorcycles uh, overall the leisure light I don't know if you can see it in the the mirror uh, we're packed up two up on the on the go wing and uh, enough clothes to last us three days and all the little essentials to be able to cook with and everything you'd want to have with your camper um, has done wonderful pulling uh, right now, I'm running 70 mile an hour. You can see by the GPS. 
and uh, we don't even know what's back here. You do know a little bit once you get up into the mountains and the curbs and uh, start coming downhill. It, it's heavy enough that it does feel like it wants to push you a little bit where the escapades or the cargo trailers that I pulled in the past, they, they tend to just kind of track behind the bike. But I uh, just wanted to touch back and kind of end this video on a high note while I still had some footage of the mountains before we get back into Flatlands. So until next time, uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe, send it to your friends. Uh, we'll see you, see you on the road.